Hello guys, welcome to a weekly vlog. So hopefully this week's weekly vlog will be a little bit more better. More better? That was not very good English, was it? A little bit more exciting, let's say. Um, I, I've just said that and I've just realised I don't actually have any major plans this week. I'm actually going to try a lot harder to vlog and document what I'm doing because last week it just wasn't the best. So I'm sorry about that. I've literally just sat and edited it now and realised how crap it was. So yeah, other than me going to see Matilda, that was kind of it for last week um, because I didn't go to uni. So hopefully you don't mind. But yeah, today is Monday, as you can tell, and I'm sat in my office just catching up on some work. I really like now when I vlog, <laughs> that's in the background. I think it's really funny, keeping it PG. Um, but yeah, so I've just been catching up on stuff. I've written out a long to-do list on my weekly planner. Someone actually sent me a photo on Twitter using my weekly planner. Um, you can buy them from my Etsy shop. I literally have three left. So I am debating whether to order some more or whether to like create something different. I haven't decided yet, but if you are wanting one right now when I'm filming this, I either have three or four. I literally don't have that many at all. So go and grab those. And I've been in my pajamas since about 10 a.m. and it's been amazing. So yeah. Um so yeah, that's kind of what I've been doing this week. I don't really have any plans. I've just messaged my hairdresser to ask if I can move my hair appointment because my roots are intense. Look at them. If you don't already know, I have grey hair and it's got loads worse recently and it's been four weeks since I've had my hair dyed and I can't wait any longer than four weeks it seems because my roots are crazy so I'm gonna go hopefully and get that done at some point this week. Um, I've got the final video for Glide going up which is insane. I started all the work with Glide when I was still at uni like I was just starting well, like, my dissertation was due within, like, the next month or whatever, and I remember telling them all in the Glide office that I was scared about my dissertation. Um, and now I've graduated, and the last video goes up on Wednesday, so hopefully you've watched it. If you haven't, please go and give it a watch, even if you just watch, like, a minute or a couple of minutes and give it a thumbs up. That'd be amazing, because obviously it helps me out, and it shows Glide that you guys are interactive, which I know you are anyway, but I'm really bad at forgetting to actually press the thumbs up button, so... There's my little reminder. Um, I have to chase up an invoice that is now 45 days overdue, which is very annoying. Um, even though I did the video on like how to get paid and how to avoid late payments, sometimes there still isn't any way of avoiding it. So yeah, I need to send emails and if this next email doesn't like help progress anything, I'm gonna have to like pass it on to like, is it solicitors that deal with that or lawyers? I can't really remember, but I'm gonna get someone of like importance to send an email on my behalf, um, just to kind of push them along a little bit. So we'll see. Um, but yeah, that's what's going on. I've got work on Saturday, um, so I will vlog that. I'm sure we'll go into Manchester. And actually this week was supposed to be um, the week that I graduate, not graduated, graded, like tested for my new belt in martial arts and if you watched the weekly vlog two three weeks ago um you'll know that i'm not allowed to grade and to my annoyance my brother is not letting me grade for whatever reason trust me i've had the argument i don't know why but that's that so i can't dwell on it he is like the owner of the academy so i can't really argue with it um so yeah it's a bit of like a sore week in that department like mum says she's not looking forward to watching everyone else grade and not seeing me grade um because it should have been on wednesday 26 and then i should have been getting my new belt if i passed obviously on sunday at graduation so yeah i'm gonna make sure i'm doing something on sunday so i'm not sat thinking about what i could have been doing um i still haven't quite decided whether i want to go back yet because it scares me that despite all the hard work that one decision can just change it all and I don't have any say in it and no matter how much determination I showed it wasn't enough and it kind of scares me and makes me think I'm not gonna be able to do it next time I mean I think I can do it but I don't know whether other people have the faith in me being able to do it <laughs> I don't know it's a weird one but yeah I've been talking for way too long now for the first clip of a vlog um I feel like that's gonna be the theme of this week I'm gonna end up talking a lot so if you like chatty vlogs which I know I do Buckle up. <laughs> Enjoy.
this is definitely a stupid place for me to leave my camera you're like hooked onto the handle of my bedroom window but um yeah today is one of them days i just it's so annoying because i was in such good mood yesterday and i got loads of work done and i just did stuff and got everything done and everything was great and today i woke up at like 12 and i didn't want to get out of bed and just sat in my office smoking around so <laughs> bit of a contrast but um i've just got a call well my mum got a call from my dad because he's currently helping my boss fix up the trailer that we work in i feel like i told you a few weeks ago um but um it's basically like a trailer thing that hooks onto the back of a car and we open the doors and we all sit in there and edit and sell photos from there and it needed redoing um so dad is currently at the storage place with the trailer um helping bill fix it up and apparently the door has just flew off or something <laughs> so they had a bit of a disaster and i was like as soon as i heard the phone ring i was like oh i could go and help i think i've got a bit of cabin fever i think that's why i'm feeling a bit crap so i've just got changed into clothes that i can actually go out in um, i'm not going to put any makeup on because i'm going to be like doing diy but i'm kind of excited to go out and do something practical rather than being sat in my office desk i've kind of half written the freelance friday thing for this week um so i'll sort that out when i get home but yeah i've decided to take the opportunity to actually leave the house um just waiting for bill to get here and then i need to take some bolts and screws and stuff from my dad's garage to fix it all so goodness knows what state it's going to be in when i get there but apparently bill's gone to panic buy some mdf to fix the door and yeah i'm just gonna go along and see how much help i can be so we'll see i'll take my camera film the bits of it i can um i don't really know what i need my phone is it charged not really better take my phone charger um so yeah that's made today a little bit more interesting at least this is the catastrophe i have arrived to <laughs> the door on the floor well Let's see how this goes then. I'm back, we made it, we survived, we didn't kill each other. Um, they've kind of fixed the door, I don't know, it's a good job I ended up deciding to go because obviously we needed to hold the door up for it to get back on and it was so heavy so I was stood for ages with like the weight of it on my thigh. <laughs> Got my hand covered in glue but I think I've just about scratched it off. Um, and now I'm having pate on toast because I'm rather hungry. I've got a bit of a headache actually and I don't know if it's because I've not eaten or I don't know, maybe I need some water or something but I'm going to eat this watch a youtube video and then go back into my office and carry on on carrying it on carry on doing the work i was doing i mean i would love to eat this but i can't get in the packet is there anything more frustrating than not being able to get in the food that you desperately want to eat no <laughs> oh, i did it yes i feel accomplished i bought some new bedding so i'm about to complete the one task that i really hate changing my bed anyone else Ugh, okay, let's go. Okay, my bedding is in the wash, but in the meantime, I have just added up the total money we raised for Mind, um, and it's at an amazing £173.80. I've literally just sat and worked it all out, and I'm currently on the Mind website now, about to send it over and donate it to them, and then I'm going to... Um, print it or I don't know I'll like shout it out on social media or something so hopefully you've already seen the final figure um very very happy about it thank you so much for your support um if you have purchased a poster thank you very much it's going to a great cause and I'm so happy that we've raised so much I was kind of aiming for around like 120 ish and to get 173 was insane um there are a few posters left and I will continue to donate um the bits i think i've got about 11 left um and i've reduced the price down to four pound fifty because obviously i don't need them in my drawer um and i think it leaves 
about £2.40 or something that gets donated to mind after I've covered the postage and obviously buying it and everything. So if you would like to grab a poster whilst helping out mind, please do because I will continue to donate money until they've all completely gone. But I was just desperate to add up the final cost and I feel so so happy that i've managed to do something like this okay my battery's dying but i just want to say thank you so much let's do this again soon and i'm about to press the donate button yay thank you so much guys i'm proud of us <laughs>
the struggle is real. tournament this literally goes silent it's so weird it's hard to serve customer when everyone's being silent <laughs> it's a good job the printer's not beeping you're doing nothing you know did my hair you're doing that out did your hair look good <laughs> we've put the 60s playlist on again you, I can hear you singing in the background you <laughs> Pay copyright for this. <laughs> I'm back home. We've just eaten paella, chicken, chorizo, and prawn paella because my mum's so nice and she made it special because I've been at work for 12 hours. <gasps> and now, look, I've got Oreo donuts. I'm so happy. So, this is how I'm going to end the weekly vlog. Mum's made my day, and these smell amazing. So, I'm going to devour these. And I hope you're jealous because I would be if I was watching this. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this week's vlog. If you did, you know what to do. Give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon for another one. Bye.